Yesterday, a really big story broke out in the news. It was about a Syrian family who came here as refugees sponsored by four different church groups, private uh, gr uh, groups that sponsored them. And it turns out that one of the kids was planning a terrorist attack. So a huge investigation. There was a big news conference about it. And I want you to think about this because another story came out today. And you can tell me what you think. But knowing that the liberal media controls all, like the liberals control all the media, the mainstream media for the most part, they don't control me. This is why I can come on here and say stuff like this. But today, there's an article about a supposed hate crime in a mosque. And this is the question for you guys. Don't you find it weird that immediately, the very next day, all of a sudden, after a, a terrorist plot is foiled, the very next day we come across some kind of a hate crime against the mosque. It, it makes it very difficult to trust whatever the mainstream media is saying. It, it, to me, this is what it sounds like. This is how I picture this having gone down. This is the liberals and their, their pundits in the media. Oh crap, we just came across another terrorist plot. Jesus, what are we going to do? Oh, we can't let it out. We can't have that story be out there for too long. Okay, what can we what can we find? We need to find something to counteract this. What? Okay, Jimmy, go find a story in Canada, anything in Canada that can say that there's any kind of a hate crime against the mosque. Go. Go, Jimmy, find the story. And then Jimmy goes and he looks and he's like, "Oh, wait, I got it. I got the story for you guys. There's four guys who went into a mosque." Oh, wait, wait, what, what nationality were there? They were white. Okay, perfect, perfect. Four white guys walk into a mosque. Awesome. Let's run with it. Print that all over. If you look, every one of the, the mainstream media outlets has that article today, conveniently burying the article about how there was a, a foiled terrorist attack on our soil by a Syrian teenager who came here as a refugee. And what did these four white guys who went into the mosque do? They went into a mosque. They walked into the mosque. They looked for a washroom. They walked back out. And there was some kind of a confrontation in the parking lot. And I'm thinking, well, that's a little bit weird because they were out and they were leaving. So what, why would there be a confrontation? We have to ask these questions. What kind of a confrontation could there have been? If these guys wanted to make trouble, they would have done it inside the mosque. They didn't do anything. They just left. And that prompted somebody to call the hate crime unit. The hate cr This is where your tax dollars are going, Canadians. We are now investigating four white guys who walked into a mosque. It, I wish I could make this stuff up. This is getting insane. But anyways, let me know what you think. I think it's very suspicious that the very next day we have an article targeting white people doing hate crimes against Muslims after a terror plot was foiled. So anyways, let me know what you think. I know you will. Love you all and I'll see you in the next one.